Alrighty, we have played the main game of Dans Macabre 7, Florentine, there we go, Elegy, but we had the bonus game left. Where do I find that? Oh, okay. Fine, it's in the extras. Just checking, just checking. Loading the extras, um, oh, that is actually the bonus game. Sure, it's, it's good, it's good. Here we go. Oh. A month after Giancarlo Pozzi's death, the authorities finally disclosed findings of the investigation. Something, something. Uh, I was just coming to see you. I know I have no right to ask anything of you, but I'm desperate. This was Jonathan, right? Jonathan Cook. This has to be him. It's Potsy. He's supposed to be dead, but I just saw him by the river. He's after me. And probably you, for getting him arrested. Okay, can he, like, chill? Follow me and I'll show you. Hurry! We're both in danger! Potsy died a month ago, but he looked genuinely scared. I better see what's what all the fuss is about. Uh, okay, first of all, I want my collectible. If only I had something long enough to reach and light this lamp. Okay, that's a question apparently. Pozzi and the Marchioness are the headlines in today's paper. Here we go. Uh, Marchioness Allegra Luches poisoned. Or Luchese. A month after Giancarlo Pozzi's death, the authorities finally disclosed findings of the investigation. Inspector in charge explained that Pozzi poisoned Marchioness Allegra Lucese and then two days later committed suicide. Pozzi couldn't forgive her for using him, I guess. Lipstick comb, pearl necklace, bundle of keys. There's an entire deer in here? What? Pen. How is this not the handkerchief? Wait, wait, wait. How is this not the- Oh, fine. I've had my fair share of running in the dark alleys. The axle is gone. There. That's where I saw him. You'll need something to put over that hole. Okay. I'm sure he means while he was running for his life. <laughs> oh. Uh, we're gonna put something over the hole while he runs for his life. Yep, yep. Okay, where's the collectible? No, 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 not souvenirs. There. Oh, he's standing in the way of it. I guess he's just going to stand there while I investigate the riverbank. Yep. I wonder if he's gonna betray us. Just be like, suck it, and push us into the hole. Quite a hole, I better throw something over it or I'll end up inside. Like a handkerchief? Oh, he- oh, now I see what he meant. He meant we have to get to the gate and there's a hole in the way so you have to cover it up while I just stand here looking at you. Oh. 
empty lamp lighter. This board is sturdy enough for a bridge. I just have to cut the rope holding it. The lighter is empty. Oh. You mean that it's dry? Good! At least now I can find my way to store the storage behind my house. Can't see anything in front of me, let alone make out where anything is. Not even one light is on. This must be there must be restrictions happening I don't know about. I need to light other lamps too. This one is not illuminating enough. Good, I wouldn't be comfortable to roam around the dark if it turns out Pulsi is really here. I'm always forgetting the gate code. No, I went past 50. Um, how did we make 8 again? Oh yeah. Now let's see what I need from here. Not that much, I guess. Another perfect board for the bridge, just to pull the nails out. Home sweet home. Every day I'm thankful to Maestro Benedetti for leaving me his studio. Need. Kitchen knife. It's really rusty, but okay then. A little bit of trusty vandalism. Shifu! Was that Pozzi? But he's supposed to be dead. No, Pozzi caught the review! But wait, he dropped something. There's just enough space to wedge the door open. Drop something here. There's something in the water, I can pull it out with an improvised hook. Oh wait, we saw from the credits that uh, someone was voicing Potsy's brother, so I'm pretty sure it's Potsy's brother. <laughs> Though we're probably not supposed to know that. Whoops! Time for some improvisation! No screwdriver? No problem, I'll find something that fits. Really? Not this? Okay then. Mysterious deaths of Maestros Benedetti, Tonelli, and Loggia were solved thanks to the young woman who courageously put Marchioness Lucchese and her accomplice Giancarlo Pozzi behind bars. Anyone would find me responsible for Pozzi's demise, but I did give him the antidote and saved his life too. There's some water here and I don't want to get wet on this chilly night. Rearrange the tiles based on the clues in the bottom row and left column. Oh. Okay.
Hmm. Um. Yeah. Now we're back here. Okay. Um That one does not want Oh, that one does not want a black. But... Oh my gosh, what has happened? Okay. This one needs two circles. Oh, okay. Sure. Incomplete crest. Here we go. Oh, it needs more stuff. I guess. Wedge. First I have to place something between the doors. Okay. No, we don't have the entire crest. Water front. Water front. Water front. Oh. Ah, yes. Definitely what I need right now. There doesn't seem to be more anything for me except this to do here. Okay, I've tried that like seven times. Why does that not work until now? Because I didn't have to build. Okay. Okay. Gallery. You're quite gullible, aren't you, girl? I used Delivio as a bait to lure you here. 
You'll pay for all my suffering, slowly and painfully. Okay. Toxic gas! That's what I get for saving his life. Handkerchief may smell like the sewer, but it probably saved me from fainting. Yeah. Cough, cough. I need to shut it down. <coughs> I don't. Okay then. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah, uh, sure, game, sure. I can definitely do something here. Okay, why is it only right here? Rotate valves to make pressure level equal in all the gauges. Note that rotating a valve will affect all the gauges it's connected to. Great. Now if something, if there was one valve that just moved all these three at the same time. There's a valve that moves these three at the same time. Okay, there we go. I was, I, I, I had already given up honestly, so. It's clearing up, soon I'll be able to breathe normally. Exhibit corridor. That was close. Three left. Such an elegant bag must have had a special button. Dio mio! Now I get it. It's Pozzi and his twin brother. Dear Mr. Pozzi, we are sorry to inform you that your brother died in prison. Accept our sincere condolences. This letter was the last straw for Pulsi's brother. It's what drove him vengeance hungry. Something pointy and thin would sure come in handy for this metal box. Oh, I don't have that. The lock is heavy. A lock this heavy can only be blown up to open. Okay then. I uh, guess we will do that then. I should place something underneath to collect the contents of this barrel. It's hopeless trying to open this jar without the knob. I mean, I wouldn't think it was hopeless, but oh wow, okay, I guess we can't leave. Door's jammed, there's no going out now. Well then.
Here we go, this red wallpaper will do the trick. It's only fitting for such beautiful, but for such a beautiful butterfly collection to be opened with a, a corresponding shape. No, it's a switch panel. It's time to switch this presentation on. Nope. Let's not let up. Funny pun as such. Try to keep up, dearie. If you want your precious Delivio back, you'll have to go through the history of this gallery in our fair city of Florence. Delivio is not that important to me, but I won't let him be a pawn in this dude's game. That's the screw it tight. This man's game. Oh! No, no, no. We'll have to uh, learn about uh, Florence in the next episode because time is up. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you.